Hey everybody, how the heck are you? My name is Tony, and welcome to Pickin' and Grinnin'. Roll it. Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk to you about the pros and cons of having your own 53-foot dry van trailer to use with Amazon Relay loads. Real quick though, if you're interested in trucking or legitimate ways, legitimate, ways uh, and ideas to supplement your income or my particular passion which is reselling join me and my subscribers and quickly smash that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications when i do drop future videos let's get after it okay in my operation with amazon i did have my own trailer but i also did power only loads pulling their trailers I had that flexibility due to having a place to drop my trailer both in Salt Lake City as well as Southern California. Uh, if I didn't like the live loads that were posted on the board when I was searching, I could drop my trailer, take a power only load. Um, it's real important to note that 99.9% .9 of the power only loads were round trip. So I was always assured of getting, my, uh, getting back to my drop trailer. And not only were these power only loads round trip, but one direction was always empty, meaning I would take an empty from Salt Lake City, say, uh, to Las Vegas, and then have a load in Vegas and bring it back to Salt Lake. Although sometimes it was empty both ways. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? Another big advantage to power only is that almost always the loaded trailer is ready to go when you see that load posted on the relay board meaning there's no waiting time at the facility. You get there, the load's ready to go. So with power only, you are in and out of each location very quickly. By the way, uh, the process to access uh, either to drop a trailer or get a live unload is usually quick and simple. As you arrive at the gate, what you do is you press the arriving button on the relay app on your phone. The geofence around the facility will pick you up and by the time you get to the gate, they'll have your information on their scanners. It just makes checking in a bit quicker if you go ahead and uh, tap that um, arriving button. So once you check in, the guard will give you a placard telling you what door or if there's no door, what parking spot to put the trailer in. It's not always necessary to go inside for a signature, but the guard will let you know one way or the other. Now, one thing that I noticed was that the loads where I used my trailer did not necessarily pay better than the power only loads. That was one of the reasons why I contemplated so long whether or not uh, to get my own trailer and whether or not it was going to be worth the investment, at least as far as Amazon loads go. In the end, of course, I did decide to get a trailer, but to keep my exposure costs and expenses at a minimum, I decided to rent a trailer on a month-to-month -month basis at a very reasonable rate. I'll talk about that process in another video. Now, the other reason I decided to try my own trailer was to use on other platforms, like uh, Datboard, uh, C.H. Robinson, and especially Convoy. And by the way, a little shameless plug for Convoy. Convoy has a lot of power only loads. That was a fantastic company to pull for. Anyway, for me, whether or not a load paid better because of using my own trailer was not the driving factor for me, but rather having more options in my operation was the driving factor. That was the biggest pro. I had flexibility. So I mentioned how power only loads work with Amazon. They are mostly round trip. The loads are ready when posted and you're empty, one, and you're empty in one direction. And I forgot to mention light loads. My average load was 3,000 to 8,000 pounds. So you're empty one way and darn near empty coming back. So can you say fuel savings? Can you say less wear and tear on your truck? By the way, Amazon's trailer fleet is uh, fairly new. Um, but there are still issues, okay? It is very important that you do a pre-trip 
including looking at the load itself. I would say that 75% of the time you're picking up a trailer, it is not yet sealed, so it's easy to take a look. You are responsible for the load. So when the loaders don't do their job by securing it, you need to secure it before leaving. There are almost always straps inside every trailer. If not, go to a parked trailer a few feet away and I will guarantee you, you will find straps in the first or second trailer you look in, okay? Take care of yourself and your business. Um, I've had trailers with horrible loading and no securement. Um, I've had trailers with flat tires, trailers with interoperable lights, and these trailers were new. So let's talk about using your own trailer. And by the way, if you got some value up to this point in this video, please show this channel some appreciation by tapping that thumbs up button for me. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, so the way it mostly worked when I loaded my trailer was that I would load at a customer location. Let's say um, Levi, like Levi Jeans, Igloo, uh, sporting goods distributors, food distributors, paper goods factories, and so forth. So I would load up and then take their items to an Amazon Fulfillment Center. These are the third-party sellers that you guys see on Amazon when you make a purchase. And it's noted with, that particular listing would be noted, noted with the words fulfilled by Amazon uh, in the listing. So side note, I'm actually an FBA seller on Amazon, but I'm not quite at the truckload level yet. I'm still shipping in a couple boxes. Anyway, usually at both locations, the pickup and the delivery were fairly quick to load and unload with my own trailer. And with your own trailer, it is most likely one way. So you will need to look for a load at the destination, unlike power only being round trip most of the time. Also, the loads tended to be full and heavy. But listen, if a customer is going to pay for a truck, they're gonna use that truck and as much of it as they can. So that was the reason why. And another thing to be aware of is carrying straps and or bars when using your own trailer. Amazon is very particular about the condition of merchandise coming in. Although you would never know this by looking at their preloaded trailers. Some of them are a mess, but they want yours to be perfect. I also want to mention that whether or not you are using your own trailer, Amazon tracks you. It's really a pain in the backside, man. If you stop for just a few minutes to take your 30 minute break, um, maybe you wanna grab uh, some coffee or fuel, uh, you will get a message from them on your phone saying they have noticed that you are not moving and they want a reason for the delay. Never mind you're 50 miles away with an appointment time in three hours, okay? Um, they see the truck stopped and they start to panic. I hope that's changed by now, but as of February, they were still doing it. I mean, at least wait 35 minutes or something, you know, before the notification in case the guy's taking a break. Anyway, it got to where I just ignored the messages if I knew I was going to be on time. I never got screamed at for ignoring them. It's annoying. Okay, my rant is over. Um, by the way, when looking at delivery times to an Amazon facility, hey, it's okay to be early. Don't let the delivery time being far out, far ahead from the pickup be the reason you don't accept the load, especially with empty trailers. I've been 12 hours early before with an empty trailer and they've taken me. Um, with loaded trailers, uh, not so much, but I have been a few hours early on occasion and they've taken me. Hey, all they can do is say no, and that happened a few times too. At least you are there in case they say yes. Another thing, it is not necessary to go out and buy a trailer. You can rent or lease one fairly easy. But I would suggest shopping around as prices are all over the map for leasing and renting trailers. Check with at least four or five places. I will drop a video of the company I used to rent month to month, and that was a 2018 utility dry van. This particular company was just rental, but some will let you lease to own. Um, if you've gotten any value from this video, please tap that thumbs up button, man. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to give you guys good content. 
um, answer your questions. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I do check several times a day for new comments and I can usually reply fairly quickly. Um, please take a moment to subscribe by tapping my logo, which is gonna be right around here. Hit that notification for future uh, uh, videos as well. So I appreciate all of my subscribers. So there you have it, a first hand look at using your own trailer with Amazon. Thank you for stopping by. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you and your time that you spend with me. Be safe, I don't know how else to say that. Be safe and I will talk to you soon. Take care.